I started SoundTrace because uh, hearing loss is the number one occupational injury in the United States. There's uh, over 30 million United States workers that are exposed to noise. And unfortunately, uh, protective methods haven't been updated in over 40 years. And uh, I think we're all familiar with the term digital transformation and uh, realize that there is a trend with IoT as well. So what SoundTrace does is an IoT device connected to a software um, and an artificial intelligence algorithm that can protect and prevent noise-induced hearing loss uh, before people are exposed uh, to overexposed to noise. So when Jeff came to me, we were trying to take this idea and turn it into what's a business look like? What's the economic model? How can we make money? How can we convince investors that there is a real business here? And so I used a lot of the skill sets that I had gained uh, you know, at doing the M&A work and, and as a CPA to, to really help Jeff forecast out what this would look like from you know, a revenue side, the cost side, and, and what this ultimately means from you know, starting a business. I mean, we need cash, we're gonna burn some cash. How do we make sure we hit metrics at the right point so that we can get to the next level and keep this thing growing? I really get to help sort of tease out what the uh, potentially patentable aspects are of this technology um, and help Jeff kind of prepare for the future as far as what sorts of hurdles we might come across um, as we are working through the, the patent office trying to get trying to get this thing uh, granted. Yeah, so the way the SoundTrace works is um, I'm actually wearing one of our mics right now. And what it's doing is it's capturing my decibel levels, uh, which you know and would be somebody who you know works on a floor like this. And then they in real time can see what their exposure is, um, you know, just uh, with the live feed, you know, on their phone, and you can see just the history of their time-weighted average. To really take the business off, um, you know, was looking for investments, and uh, the first place I looked were, you know, other fellow 07 grads, and then also um, older grads as well. So, um, you know, Steve Burns was a, was one of our lead investors. Um, and then there was Carl Woods, who was part of it, uh, Shane Geyser, Nick Rolfs. Um, a lot of people uh, from Moeller have all been uh, part of this. And so when Jeff said, hey, you're back in town, let's meet, I had no idea what we were going to meet about. And we go to you know a little taco restaurant, and he pulls out this device with a business plan, and I knew it was dead serious. Jeff and I actually, funnily enough, uh, didn't realize at first that we had gone to high school together. So he came to me through a, uh, a referral uh, from a fraternity brother of his in college who I went to law school with. Um, and on about maybe our second call together, Jeff and I sort of both came to the realization, uh, we went to high school together and that's why you seem so familiar. Once I find out they went to Muller, it goes back to that, that trust and reliability and there's, you know, there's a sense of uh, connection already there. And I think it allows you to get to that that next level of whether developing a better friendship, a better business relationship, whatever it is, that 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 uh, connection's already there. Entrepreneurship has always been a passion of mine, and um, I really got involved with it at Miami University, but I realized that a lot of those roots and that passion came from Moeller. And the thing about being a successful entrepreneur or business, um, you know, owner or just business in general, or there's a lot of et like work ethics that you know I learned at Moeller and discipline that I learned from Moeller, and um, the fact that uh, Moeller is encouraging that and investing in programs like that is is really great to see. What it means to be a Moeller grad is uh, it's so much more than the four years that you are there at Moeller, and um, the reason why I say that is you know, SoundTrace is a perfect example of how the brotherhood has uh, continued you know, 15 years later, and it's a, it's a lifelong um, you know, relationships that you build when you're at Moeller's, lifelong skills, life, uh, lifelong work ethics, and what it means to be uh, you know, part of Moeller or Moeller grad is you know, it's that brotherhood, it's that family. Go Big Mo!